Hello and welcome to Patrick's Models and Transport and here we are at last after a very long time we're doing the test run of the Pico BR64 tank locomotive. It's far away in the sidings. Let's bring it forward. Um, perfectly controllable. I lubricated the, the linkage before. There's the SNCF 040TA right beside it. What a beautiful locomotive. What a great control of this th three pole motor. Okay, it has a very complicated all wheel drive system, but look at, look at the slow speed and it's a three, a three pole motor. It's a fantastic three pole motor. How slow it moves. We're at 50%. I had to clean the track before because it was a disaster. It was very, very oxidized because this is all old. This is a combination of track. There's steel track, there's nickel silver track. It's track I had in the house, track old ancient steel Lima track, Lima nickel silver, three bits. Jouef track, both in nickel silver and uh, steel. Anyway, that's us. Very good control. There's a slight slowdown here because the uh, the points are open. Things always slow down when the points are open there. Okay, let's go in reverse. It helps if the controller... The controller wasn't controlling. You can smell Pico motor here. Oops. I have to clean these points better. These points are always a problem. I clean them very well, but there seems to be a lot of oxidation right there. Okay. Absolutely fantastic. Here it is. Yes, there's a slight, there's a slight uh, bad contact point right here. We should. I have to. I have to take clean that better tomorrow. So now we'll just take a wagon. So we'll just take the this this wagon here, the Jouf coal wagon. SNCF coal wagon and uh, we could fit it just put it on the rails and we can go in reverse let's see okay let's see how we handle that 